After much head-scratching and probably a few spilled beakers of celebratory champagne, the scientists realized that they had stumbled upon evidence of a natural nuclear reactor that had operated about 1.7 billion, that's with a B, billion years ago. But how do we know this wasn't just some sort of weird geological fluke? Well, the evidence is pretty compelling. You see, the depleted uranium-235 levels match what we'd expect to see in a spent nuclear fuel. Scientists found fission products, which are the elements left over after the uranium atom split, the daughter elements I talked about, they found those in the ore, in the mine. And the distribution of those fission products matched the patterns that we see in modern nuclear reactors. So we have like neodymium and ruthenium isotopes, and they were found in ratios that can really only be explained by nuclear fission. So it'd sort of be loosely like finding a prehistoric McDonald's. The leftovers might look a little bit different, but you can still recognize by the packaging the half-eaten burger, to use a rough analogy. Now, before you start worrying about stumbling into a natural nuclear reactor on your next hiking trip, rest assured that Oklo isn't currently active. The conditions that actually allowed it to operate were unique to Earth's distant past. About 1.7 billion years ago, the concentration of uranium-235 in natural uranium was much higher. It was about 3.7% compared to today's percentage, about 0.72%. This higher concentration, combined with the presence of groundwater, act as a moderator, which slows down the neutrons, making them more likely to cause fission. And they created the perfect conditions for a natural nuclear reactor. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.